Shock and terror at the Vatican today as 17,000-year-old wraith demon Gagool Bagool appeared over the St. Peter's Basilica. Reports also describe a shadowy figure floating in divine suspension. Multiple eyewitnesses claim to have seen, quote, the hand of Christ, lowering the figure later identified as Marcos Oliveira. Vera, Vera, Vera. My name is Marcos Oliveira. And for more than 15 years, I have been an exorcist traveling the country in such a paranormal phenomenon. For years, I have been uncovering nightmarish beasts. Oh, that's a demon. I have performed over 27 exorcisms and I am familiar with over 75 forms of demon. I am preacher, redeemer of lost souls. So this afternoon, I got an emergency call from someone who wishes to remain anonymous. He's been feeling a type of presence in his home and he needs my help. So I called Father Oliveira because for a few days now I've been hearing sounds coming from my apartment. At first it was little things like a, a light turning on or a strange bang in the night, but the yesterday and the day before, I definitely heard what sounded like a violin. So when I am asked to uh, cleanse a house or an apartment, I like to bring my things, I stay the night, that way the demon knows he is not alone and he has company. So I'm going to take tonight to simply observe and we see what happened. Okay, I just heard some noises in the room next door and I think this is what he was telling me about. I'm gonna go check it out, okay? Sounds like it's actually coming from downstairs. Look at this, blood hieroglyphs. This means the demon is close. This says to the preacher. Ah! I heard something coming from here. It's empty. I could feel a presence in this room. Ah! He's gone. So I went downstairs to investigate the noise. It seems to have disappeared. So for now, back to sleep. So last night I hear something and I follow the sound to a part of the house that smell like sulfur. That usually means is the presence of something. You see, sulfur. You see, the only way to get rid of sulfur deposit is the holy water, okay? I show you. Stay to wait, Emperor. Stay to wait, Emperor. So you can learn about demon like this in the old arcane books, the ex mortis, the Voices Bibles. But to actually come so close to a paranormal entity of this power is extraordinarily uncommon. You see, the truth is, I taught Marcos almost everything he knows but only up to a point. You see, when he started to learn about the blood hieroglyphs saying taking those principles with him onto the road, searching for these so-called paranormal phenomenon, he becomes the attractor, you see? Marcos is playing with a fire that very few people understand. This is the second night in a row I heard the noise. This time, I'm gonna find it. Timo, I command you to... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Marcos Oliveira, known for his role in the hit TV show Preacher, Redeemer of Lost Souls, taken into hospital this evening having sustained multiple injuries, including sulfur poisoning. First responders on the scene describe Oliveira as frantically possessed, chanting, quote, Satan is real. Hell, a real place, a place of everlasting damnation. Can you just um, tell us what happened in the bathroom? <laughs> Just, just, just one more thing. I beg you. Praise Christ. Tonight on Stars in Their Eyes, Dwight Yoakam. Just, just, just one more thing. I beg you. 